What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this episode of Custom with Vic. A few months ago I did this really dope custom with Mr. Gemafly, aka Good Vibe Gliders. We created the Bedazzled Jordan 1s, the Bread and Royals. After that project was done, I was left with a spare Royal and a spare Bread. Now it's time to create the Bread and Royal Union Custom. This is a project that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Not many people have a Bread or Royal to play with, so that's what made this project unique. We're gonna go in and apply some Red over here, a splash of Blue over here, add some LA Union tags on both shoes, some union stitching all around, and a few other details. This project is gonna be sweet, so let's get started. Before we get started, I wanna point out the ashy metallic texture all around the black leather. The 2016 retros are notorious for this. I'll show you guys later on in this video on how to remove that stuff really easy. The first thing we're gonna do is remove both labels off both shoes using a seam ripper. Both Nike labels are off. Later on in this video, I'll come back and add the bread label onto the royal and the royal tag onto the bread. Right now, we're gonna focus on the next set of tags. Right here, we got our LA Union tags. All Union Jordan ones come with these. These are from Iggy's Kicks and they're pretty spot on. We're gonna use an X-Acto knife and a seam ripper to rip up the thread, insert the tags in there, and then sew it back in place. So far so good, we got the Union LA tags in place. It was really easy to do. I didn't cut too much of the old stitching out, just enough for the tag to go in smoothly. On both ends, using a thread zapper, I sealed both threads so the thread won't come out loose. Let's go ahead and finish it up by using the patcher to sew it up. Union tags are in place, looks really crispy so far. Now we're gonna go back to the tongues. Like I mentioned, the bread tag is gonna go on the royal and the royal tag is gonna go on the bread. We're gonna use some double-sided tape to lock them into the tongues. Then we're gonna head over to the post by machine. Tons are looking fresh, now we're onto the painting. But before we could do that, we gotta do some prep work. We'll be using some acetone and cotton balls to remove the finisher off these two collars. We wanna be very careful with this step. We don't wanna get any acetone on the Air Jordan logo or anywhere else, because we're only gonna be painting this piece. Let's paint. The first color we're gonna lay down is our white base coat. We're gonna lay it down all over both colors. After that, we'll lay down our premix red and our premix blue. These colors are identical to the colors on the shoes. We'll lay it down using an angular brush.
paint job on the collars is complete. Don't be fooled you guys, this took a really long time to get it nice and crispy, especially the Air Jordan logo. I underestimated this part, it took a lot longer than I expected, but it came out real clean, I'm happy with how it looks. Now, we're onto the toe boxes. I can't stand how these toe boxes look, they're so bulky looking. For this, real quick, we're gonna be using the iron method. We're gonna stuff the toe boxes, use a wet rag, place it over the toe boxes to reshape the toe boxes to give it a better look. Toe boxes are good to go, they look a lot better. Now we're on to removing the sparkly stuff off the black leather. Like I mentioned, this is a huge problem with 2016 retros. I'm not sure exactly what Jordan brand used on this black leather, but it's an issue. For this, we're gonna be using our brand new Rejuminator Mink Oil. For the last couple years, you guys have been asking for this, and I'm happy to say this stuff will finally be back fully in stock before the end of the year. What we do next is apply this onto our microfiber towel, a nice little dab, and simply what we're gonna do is rub it into the black leather, and in a few seconds, that sparkly stuff will be completely gone. Black leather turned out fantastic. All that sparkly stuff came off nicely, thanks to our brand new Rejuminator Mink Oil. Not only does this stuff remove the sparkling texture off the black leather, it also reconditions leather and brings back the color on its suede. This stuff will be back soon, so stay tuned. Now we're back to the custom. On the Union Jordan 1s, on the panel edges, they're painted with a yellowish orange paint. In the past, for this part, I used paint and a paintbrush, but that method takes way too long. So today, we're gonna be using Foxtrot Uniform's brand new product called Sunburn Chalky Edges. This is gonna save us a lot of time. Simply what we're gonna do is hit up all the edges using the marker. Check out Foxtrot Uniform on Instagram. Yellow edges are complete, it looks beautiful. This looks like a Union Custom now. Big shout out to Fox. The next part we gotta do is a zigzag stitching all around the collar area. For this, we'll be using my handy dandy patcher. We're gonna apply the stitching all around. This detail needs to be perfect because it's a huge part on the Union Jordan 1s. Union stitching is in place, looks really sick all around. Same thing with the tongue, we also went ahead and did that. Now we're on to the last step of this custom. Using Foxtrot Uniform Sneaker Stainer, we'll be using sale on this one. We're gonna give this midsole a nice aged look, just like the Jordan Union ones. Once that's good to go, we're gonna lace it up with some Union laces. All right guys, that is gonna bring us to an end on these custom Union Bread and Royal Jordan 1s. This is such a sick custom. Not only are they inspired by the Jordan 1 Unions, but they also remind me of the top three Jordan 1s and the Lance Mountains. Let's go ahead and take them to the top and exactly what we did to make this project happen. The very first step I did was swap the tongue tags on both tongues. 
painted the collars. This part was the hardest part and the most time consuming. I had to make sure the color matching was on point and painting the Air Jordan logo was super tedious and very time consuming. At the end, it came out awesome. We also went ahead and applied some Union LA tags to the side, sewed them in place, came out crispy. Next, using Foxtrot Uniforms marker, we hit up all the edges on every single panel with some sunburn paint to give it that Union look. After that, we moved on to doing the zigzag stitching all around the collars. This is a huge detail when it comes to Union Jordan 1s, and I think I nailed it on this part. And lastly, using Fox Stainer, we hit up these metals to give it that aged look to wrap up that beautiful Union Custom. Originally, I was gonna put these shoes on our website to auction them off. Steve just came in here though, checked them out, saw that they were his size, really loved them, so they might be going in his collection. We'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys later.